So this is my studio. This is where I work and have worked as a... I've always had the studio where I live. I've never had the studio in a separate place. So being an artist means making stuff. It's a drawing on, uh, on a piece. It looks like an etching, it isn't it? Drawing is when you're thinking with your hand. When you're putting together impulse, physical impulse, with cerebral speculation. You can heighten your skill so that it can better take whatever ideas you're pondering and turn them into images. It is gymnastics a bit. I draw in books all the time. I think the most important thing is what's below it all. What are we about? What are we, what are we doing to one another? What are we doing to this world? And how do we somehow speak to this, this moment? Because this moment is amazing. The world has changed more than my 80 years and probably in the 800 years before it. So my life has seen, I think, an almost apocalyptic change in human story. I guess some people's feelings that you must reaffirm those good values from the past. Mine is that we have to <coughs> scream, and I mean, I'm more Dylan Thomas approach to thing. Rage, rage, rage at the closing of the night. I know I sound like I'm some sort of a, uh, a zealot, but I am. You know, it's like I think I became an artist because of that because I want to speak about what I think are important things. People say, "What are your pictures about?" I say, "Well, they're about love and hate and betrayal and uh, hopefulness and uh, is there a God? Isn't there a God? What's, why is this happening? Etc. Etc. The violence within all of us, the love within all of us, the hypocrisy within all of us." Because if we can get that out and say, hey, you're not alone out there being hypocritical, naughty, then, but you know, it's being you, and let's try to be better. Let's switch the, uh, the other gear into a better gear. How has being a foreigner in Italy affected your practice, do you think? Or how has Italy mm -hmm. okay. shaped your practice? Being an outsider. Um, I think being an outsider is extremely valuable to any creative person. Because you stay in the society that you grew up in, and you believe that those are the values that are the values, and that the answers to all, to all uh, daily life and ongoing existence, the laws, the systems, the habits, the way things are, that that's the best way because it's your way, is very limiting. The artist, the intellectual, should be beyond that sort of provincial view of existence. And nothing is better for you than to not be where you grew up. All of this is part of a genuine doubt that I think should, is appropriate to serious uh, graduate study. Doubt is the whip that will make you succeed. Mm -hmm. If you're without doubt, you're going to end up repeating whatever you've been doing. Because it's not really tangible. The things that a person feels when looking at work, about, you can't grab that. You can't all it is, is a confirmation of a wonderful fact. That you can make something with your hands, put it down there, and somebody else will look at it, and your hands will invisibly reach out from the painting and grab that person who's looking at it. That you will communicate through marks, sentiments that only human beings can have. No bird or turtle or dove is going to react that way. Only other people who've existed as human beings will respond to the marks that another human being makes. And that's the wonderful game you're in. And that's the end of my talk today. Yay!